I think Mike Hunkapiller knows more about genomics, genetics, sequencing, comparative genetics, and how all that applies to biology than almost anybody in the world. And the amazing thing is that he combines that with the knowledge of a manager, a leader, a president of a company. He played a revolutionary role in developing two instruments and actually applying one of these instruments uh, to the analysis of biological problems that really uh, caused some paradigm changes in biology. And before Mike's innovations, DNA had to be sequenced using dangerous uh, radioactivity. Uh, it was a slow, tedious, and dangerous process. It's clear that Mike's greatest accomplishments include the introduction of fluorescent DNA sequencing. He's provided to the bench scientists a myriad variety of tools to measure both DNA and RNA, all of which have been critical to advancing genome science. The things that he worked on with his colleagues, of course, and, and, and through ABI and building up that presence, um, really enabled the world of molecular medicine, personalized medicine. He grew ABI from nothing, uh, co-founding it, up to two billion in, uh, in revenues. By bio. I think it's one of those few companies that essentially help the development of the whole industry. Applied Biosystems was the leading first generation technology in the world, dominant market share. They built peptide synthesizers, DNA synthesizers, DNA sequencers, and really those instruments are all just tremendous engineering feats and at the very basis of uh, biotechnology. The instruments from Applied Biosystems were the primary data generating machines that were a part of the Human Genome Project, which is an amazing accomplishment in and of itself. He really was the catalyst for getting the human genome sequenced. Even though Mike was as central to that project as anybody, and probably more, he was happy to let others take credit. Um, what he wanted to do was get the job done, get the technology out there and used for the benefit of the public and to advance science. I don't think the Human Genome Project would have been possible in the decade that it was accomplished, but for ABI and the automated sequencers. Everything that relies on understanding the human genome has its root directly towards Mike's innovations. I actually think, you know, Mike Hunkapower probably has had as much or more impact on the biotech industry as any other single individual in history. So now Mike's on a variety of boards. He's mentoring young entrepreneurs and providing his counsel and all the things that he's learned, all the wisdom of this marvelous career. He's also an advisor on a variety of NIH and other government advisory boards and committees. So Mike is really giving back now. Mike was probably the most exceptional colleague I've had in 40-some years of science. He's one of our Fields, uh, unsung heroes. I think people need to know about all he's done to build biotechnology. Uh, he's one of the true superstars of biotech.